to the South and said, we're not going to carry the show. And Gene basically just said, F off. Well, Laura, you're the only one who can do it. I was pleased that uh, in those days, when uh, you couldn't get even blacks on television, that I not only had a black, but a black woman and a black officer. You are away from your post, mister. And that'll show them. I told Gene after the end of the first season that I would not be returning to the show. Be terrified and overwrought. That I wanted to return to my first love, which is musical theater. But I didn't know that meeting a Star Trek fan would change my life. I was told that a fan wanted to meet me, and I turned and looked into the face of Dr. Martin Luther King. I, I was breathless. He says, yes, I'm the Trekker. I'm a Star Trek fan. And he told me that Star Trek was one of the only shows that his wife, Coretta, and he would allow their little children to stay up and watch and thanked him, and I told him that I was leaving the show. All the smile came off his face, and he said, you can't do that. He said, don't you understand that for the first time, we are seen as we should be seen. You don't have a black role. You have an equal role. And when I went back to work on Monday morning, I went to Gene's office and I told him what had happened over the weekend. And he says, welcome home. We got a lot of work to do.